I get asked all the time, how can I get a job? How can I make my profile, my resume stand out in front of everyone else's? And you can, and I keep saying, you can customize your GitHub profile and be active and contribute to open source. So in this video, I wanna focus on the minimum amount of effort you need to do to make your GitHub profile stand out. And I wanna show you some other people's profiles that are super fancy, and it's great if you can do that but it takes a lot of work. So here, I'm not gonna ask you to do a lot of work, just a little bit of work to stand out. So here I've got my profile and it's nothing fancy, but I feel it's really functional and does help me stand out. And I know I've got all my freelancing, contracting job offers all from my GitHub profile. And you could go further and do something like Graham's, which looks amazing. It's responsive, light and dark mode features. It is great but this requires a lot of effort. So if you wanna do that, definitely go ahead and do that and look at Graham's and you can actually see the source code in this. If you go to the readme, you can see how Graham's achieved this. But I'm a bit lazy and I want to do the least amount of effort for the biggest amount of result. So the whole 80-20 rule. So what do I recommend you having on your profile? Well, have a profile picture. And if you can and you don't mind, have a picture of you that is you. You look professional, but still not too serious. You're having fun. And if you can see like the whites in your eyes, that makes it super personal. The person reading it can feel like they know you. So I think that's really important. And have your full name if you can and you don't mind. The reason for that is because if people want to search for you on LinkedIn, LinkedIn and don't actually click your link or anything like that, they can find you more easily. Great for SEO. Have a short bio of yourself. I think that's really important. Don't make it too long. You can put more information later on in the customized version of your GitHub profile. But at the beginning, have something that is concise and describes you quite well. And don't forget to follow people and also get some followers for yourself. As you contribute and collaborate with people, you will gain more followers. Don't worry about these numbers. Just hopefully they're not zero. Then I would put which organization you're working for. And if you're not working for one at the moment or you want to be a bit kind of clever, you could put something. I've put open source engineer. I've seen people saying hire me or looking for my next role. And that's quite a clever way again to stand out. Do put your location. I think this is important. I think people don't put the location because maybe they want to not exclude themselves from certain result. But I think then people just think that the worst. If you put it there, it's clear. It's They know exactly where you are and they might be looking for people in that area, right? You have EMEA, you have, I forget all the other acronyms, APAC and so forth. So do put your location. I think it works to your advantage. And then also, if you can, enable the time zone so people can see what time zone you're in so they know when the best time to contact you is. Have your email address. Do put some URLs here. Now on GitHub, you can add more. Probably don't add too many. Put the main two or three that you really want to stand out for. Make sure you enable your sponsor's uh, page. I think this is great for companies who do want to donate to the open source community. Maybe you've come up with a great idea on their project. Maybe you've solved the bug. Maybe you've found a bug. Maybe you could have done so many other things to add value. Maybe they want to donate 10, 20, 50, $100 to you. So I highly recommend enabling that. But I don't think that makes you stand out. I just think it's a good thing to have if it's available in your country. Hopefully you've got some achievements. Again, I don't look too much into these, but it is nice to have something there. You can hover these and get more information about them. For example, this is pairing of someone. So it's doing a commit with a collaborator. So two people have contributed to that commit. And then you can see um, how you get these and then you can go and try and achieve some of these yourself with your friends. And if you belong to any organizations, I would recommend making them public on your profile. It's a great way to stand out in those organizations and again, to make your profile more fuller and looking more professional. Don't have too many. I see people sometimes having maybe 30 organizations. That really isn't practical. It just looks like you're collecting organizations. So I think a few organizations, maybe one, maximum two rows is a good idea. Now onto the customization part. Well, I've got a banner here. I don't know if the banner's the best idea. It takes up a lot of real estate. Maybe I should try and like, you know, half the height of it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It really supports and helps my channel. And then definitely have some text about yourself. I see some people maybe writing like three, four, five paragraphs. Maybe that's too much. Make it concise for someone to kind of, you know, skim read it. Maybe they're looking at 10, 20 profiles in one go and you want to stand out. 
out. So you could collapse that section with the extra text. You could have some bullet points. And then if you wanted to write more information, you could collapse it. And then the person reading, if they want to see more, they could expand it and they could read more information about it because they might be someone who wants to read more about you or, or dive deeper. Actually, in my Markdown course, I show you all those cool tricks and what Markdown and HTML you can use in customizing your profile. Go check it out, link in the description below. Then I've got some badges here. I recommend having some badges. Again, it just makes it pop a bit more. I wouldn't recommend having the views badge, the profile views. I think it doesn't help. If you have a low number, it doesn't look good. If you have a high number, it looks like you faked it. So either way, it's kind of not important in my opinion. Again, let me know what you think below. I've got some of my achievements here and they're quite small. I have got, I think four or five from GitHub, but I'm just picking my recent ones. I think I've got another recent one that I need to add on there, but just kind of one row. We've got other information that we want to highlight in front of people. I do have a GitHub action that keeps my profile up to date. So these latest YouTube videos are updated daily via a GitHub action. You can do that with blog posts as well. I do have a video on that. You can go check it out. But having a GitHub action to update that keeps it up to date and fresh and people might come and keep coming back to have a look and also gets more exposure to your content. And if someone's kind of skim reading your profile and they see this, they can go check out your latest content because usually your latest content is a lot better than content from two years ago. So you want them to find the, the content that you want. Well, if you're not gonna write a GitHub action to do that, what I'd recommend is putting maybe two or three of your best content on there so people can see what your content is like, be it a blog post, a YouTube video, whatever it is. I've got testimonials of mine. You can take some of these maybe from LinkedIn. Um, I got these from Twitter, I think. You can ask people to write you some testimonials and then you can include them here. Um, it's entirely up to you. I'm not sure if that is a good thing or a bad thing. I'm kind of on the fence. I'm leaving it there because my profile isn't too long. I think it's about a page, page and a bit. So I don't think it's too long. But if uh, if your profile is short, you could add them. If your profile is getting a bit long, maybe that's one of the things you will remove sooner before something else. Do let me know what you think. I've pinned two repos. I do recommend pinning two repos because that way you can drive traffic and make people aware of two repos that you're really passionate about. It could be because you're a maintainer or a contributor to that project, or it could be because you're the owner of that project. But I think that's good. I think two is a good number. You could go to four if you have a very short profile. I wouldn't recommend doing six. I would definitely keep it as an even number. Utilize that horizontal space. If you have an odd number, you have that kind of white space. And white space is good. I mean, I'm no UX or designer, but just make use of the space given to you, like maximize it without cramming it too much. I know a lot of people do put a lot of widgets on their profile. And to be honest, I wouldn't recommend those widgets. They always say A+. plus. Like seriously, I think I've seen an A- minus once before, but they're not very informative and I literally just skim over. I don't look at them. And also I've seen some animated GIFs where it's like a, a snake going over your green squares, but the green squares are up here and it's the same green squares as everybody else. Sometimes they're customized. But again, it's been done so many times. I don't think it stands out anymore. And I think it just doesn't make it look very professional. Coming down to these screen squares, it's good if you've got a bit of consistency. You can see I've got lots of gaps here doing more client work than open source. Hopefully that's going to change soon. I do miss open source and geeking out with you all, but don't worry too much about it. The part you should be concerned about is this contributing graph underneath. I always recommend trying to have double figures in each quadrant. I currently have double figures in three of them, but issues is lacking a bit. So I'm going to try and step that up. I think double figures, anything above 10% shows that you are a well-balanced developer, engineer, whatever you want to call yourself, but well-balanced. If you've got 99% commits, which most people do have, it doesn't show that you collaborate with other people because code reviews about collaboration, pull requests about collaboration, issues about collaboration. Commits is mostly about kind of you yourself. So I would show that you can collaborate because remember, most projects are not just about one person. You are going to be collaborating and working with a team. What tips and suggestions would you give to people customizing their GitHub profile? Don't forget in your resume, put a link to your GitHub profile, but also put a link to your favorite issue that maybe you've created, your favorite pull request that you've created, maybe your favorite pull request that you've reviewed. Those three things are really important to make your resume stand out because you can write whatever you want in your resume. But if you can put a link to something that you've done in the real world on an open source project, they can see it for real. They can actually see what you're doing. And on the pull request, it's effectively showing a before and after. If someone showed you some of their work that they've done before and after, you're going to be more impressed. You're going to be like, 
like, wow, this is what it was like. And this is what you did to achieve that. And a pull request shows a before and after. Remember, the pull request doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be to the most popular project in the world. It just needs to show that you can add value to a project and you can explain it well in a pull request for others to test it, to check it, and to hopefully accept it into their project. Let me know your tips below and I look forward to geeking out with you at Eddie Hub community. We're geeking out every day about open source and accelerating your career. I'll see you there.